Slugs are notorious garden pests that can feed on a variety of plants, fruits, flowers, and vegetables. By the end of this video, our expert tips will have you slaying slugs and protecting your plants for a beautiful flourishing garden. We will discuss a variety of strategies to help you combat these pests effectively. Some common foods that slugs consume in the garden include tender young shoots. Slugs are particularly fond of tender, succulent growth, often decimating young seedlings and emerging foliage, sometimes in a single evening. Seedlings are particularly vulnerable to slug damage, as their tender stems and leaves provide easy targets for feeding. Slugs may feed on the leaves of various plants, causing extensive damage, especially to plants with broad, tender leaves. Slugs also feed on the petals and leaves of flowers, affecting the appearance and health of ornamental plants. Slugs are known to target ripe and overripe fruits such as strawberries, tomatoes and melons, as well as vegetables like lettuce, cabbage and squash. If slugs are a problem in your garden, keep watching as we reveal our expert tips on how to banish those slimy pests. 1. Handpicking One of the simplest methods is to manually remove slugs from your garden. Wear gloves and check your garden in the early morning or late evening when slugs are most active. Dispose of the slugs by dropping them into a bucket of soapy water. 1. Slug Traps You can set up traps to attract and capture slugs. Sink containers such as yogurt cups or shallow dishes into the ground and fill them with beer or a mixture of water and yeast. Slugs are attracted to the scent and will crawl into the container and drown. Empty the traps regularly and refill them as needed. 2. Organic Repellents Sprinkle crushed eggshells, coffee grounds or coarse sand around plants as the rough texture can deter slugs. 3. Mulching Use mulch to create a dry barrier between the soil and your plants, making it more difficult for slugs to move around. Opt for materials like gravel, crushed stone or cocoa bean hulls, which are less attractive to slugs than organic mulches like straw or compost. 4. Introduce natural predators into your garden, such as ground beetles, frogs, toads, birds and ducks. These predators feed on slugs and can help keep the slug population in check. 5. Natural Pesticides If the slug population is particularly problematic, you can use natural pesticides derived from plants, such as neem oil or garlic spray. These substances can repel or disrupt the feeding behavior of slugs without harming other beneficial insects. 6. Natural Barriers Create barriers around vulnerable plants to deter slugs. Copper tape or copper mesh can be effective, as slugs receive a mild electric shock when they come into contact with the metal. Diatomaceous earth, a natural powder made from fossilized algae, can also be sprinkled around plants to create a barrier that irritates and causes dehydration and death. Whether slugs are considered enemies or not depends on the context. In a garden or agricultural setting, slugs are often seen as pests because they can cause significant damage to plants by feeding on leaves, stems, fruits, and seedlings. This damage can lead to reduced yields, poor plant health, and economic losses for farmers and gardeners. However, in natural ecosystems, slugs play important roles as decomposers and recyclers, helping to break down organic matter and cycle nutrients back into the soil. They also serve as a food source for various predators, including birds, amphibians, and predatory insects. So, while slugs may be considered pests in certain situations, they are also valuable components of ecosystems, contributing to nutrient cycling and supporting biodiversity. It's important to manage slug populations in a way that minimizes damage to crops, while also recognizing their ecological role in the broader environment. If you found these slug-busting techniques valuable, show us some love here at Garden Studio by giving this video a thumbs up and pressing that subscribe button now. Until next time, happy gardening, and we'll see you in the next video.